ages and ages ago, I made a binary counter in Minecraft. A binary counter is something that can, it's a, it's a thing that can count in binary. So you see it, you see it here, the, the lit up lamps represent the digit one, and the, when the lamps off, it represents zero. So every time a pulse comes into the circuit here, it adds one to the count. So there's the number one, 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 and next time a pulse comes in, that clocks back to zero, 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 zero. Next pulse, we've got zero, 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 one. The next pulse, we've got zero, zero, one, zero, and then zero, zero, one, one, and then the next count will wrap it to zero, one, zero, zero. It's counting in binary. If you're familiar with binary, great. Otherwise, there's a lot of YouTube videos that teach you what it, what it is exactly. In this video, I want to show you how to make a binary counter in Minecraft. Now, as I said, I made this a long time ago, and it's much more complicated than it needs to be. Um, sometime during some Minecraft upgrade, uh, Minecraft decided that this wasn't a, a flat world after all, but it was a world with some seed, with biomes everywhere. And so the little part of the world that I'd explored while building my counter became this massive great big pit inside a perfectly normal Minecraft world otherwise. Anyway, so there's what I had. Now, to make it simpler, I decided to start off afresh with a brand new, completely flat Minecraft world. So, so that's the first thing I did. I created a flat world and then I left it unattended where my son could play with it. And so you can see the results of that here. Yeah, just a little bit of chaos. And so here we are. The central component to a binary counter is a Minecraft circuit that whenever a pulse of energy comes in, it toggles the energy coming out. So when this turns on, if this is off, this should turn on, and if it's on, it should turn off. So that's what we're going to build. But before we do anything, before we connect anything to the end there, I need to make sure this pulse is a very precise duration. Um, for the design I have, I need it to be exactly three Minecraft ticks long. So first of all, I'll build, uh, I'll place a redstone torch over here. Now what that does is if there's energy coming in, then the redstone torch will be off and then following on from that, this will be off. But if, the mind, if there's no redstone energy coming in, then there will be coming out. This is what you call in logic a not gate. If there's no energy coming in, there is coming out and vice versa. And on this side, I'm going to connect that together through a redstone repeater. So if you have a look at this now, this you'd expect to be always on. And it is. Uh, whether the signal coming in is on or off, that's on. Uh, but the trick here is if I delay the signal through the repeater, then we can get a tiny flash where this turns off. Okay, it takes two Minecraft ticks now to go through this repeater, one Minecraft tick to go through the not gate, and so this stays off for about, go away slime, go away, go away, go away. Anyway, so this stays off for about one Minecraft tick. We can make that slightly longer. We're going to need it to be slightly Oh, another slime. Hello. Go away. Okay, so we're going to need this to be slightly longer than one Minecraft tick for reasons I'll explain in a moment. I'll change it to two for now. That's still not quite long enough, but now you see that pulse where it's off is slightly longer. So, what do we do next? 
Now over here, you'll see I've got two outputs, one connecting to a lamp here. This will be the actual binary digit coming out. The slime just wants to have a look. And this will connect to the next copy of this circuit here. So these need to be opposite. So I'm going to connect this with a couple of uh, not gates as well. Okay, so here I will have it uh, like so. There can be some Minecraft, there can be some uh, redstone just here. Okay, and that can go there. And now this is this is on when this is off. And if this was and if this over here was on, then this would be off. So what do I do with that now? Well, I'm going to bring this, I'm going to build another not gate over here as well. Okay, so we will do that right now. Okay, a bit of a, a little block of, of quartz in this case to give it some height. A redstone torch on the end. So now this tiny pulse of off becomes a tiny pulse of on over here. And this will merge with the signal I have over here. And finally, that's going to go through another not gate just here. Um, I'll put the redstone torch on this side so you can see it working. And put some redstone wire on top. So now, whenever this wire is on, this will be off. At the moment, the wire is on all the time. There's a little tiny, it's off most of the time here, um, but it's on all the time here because this is off all the time. That will change as we finish the circuit. So uh, the next thing I need is, okay, so that joins there. And then I'll have a redstone repeater just here. So now we've got a little loop here. It's not doing anything much yet. It won't do anything much until we finish the whole circuit. The next bit of the circuit is done with a Minecraft. It's basically, it, as you see, I've got a negator here and here. I do the opposite on the other side of the circuit. Instead of negating this signal, I'll just repeat it. Right, so this torch turned that on. This repeater just leaves it off over here. I'll also have a repeater that just repeats what was over there. All right. And these two will join up. That can go there. And now another negating block on the other side, another redstone torch. So now this is on. This is on all the time, except when that little pulse goes through. And you see that just flashes off. So when that flashes off, if I put the redstone torch there, the redstone torch will be on. It'll be off most of the time, and then it will flash on briefly. When that flashes on, it will turn this on. Then that will be off all the time. So this will be on. This will be on. Then this will be off all the time. Um, and over here, and well, let's just join it up together instead of me waffling on. Here we go. So now that's there. And what do we see? We see some chaos, absolute chaos here. It's flickering and flickering and flickering. The reason it's flickering is, as I said before, timing is timing is is critical to this kind of circuit. This mine, this pulse when it's off is two Minecraft ticks long, but each of these loops has three components: one, two, three, and each component takes a whole Minecraft tick to process. This side also one, two. Three, this loop also has three components and therefore a, it takes the signal three Minecraft ticks to get around. So this pulse needs to be three as well. I need to add one more step of delay here. Right, now this pulse will be three Minecraft ticks long. And when I join, and you see it's slightly slower, when I join this up again with, with redstone, the whole circuit will be working. You'll see when a pulse comes in, at the back, when a pulse comes in at the back, that changes. Next pulse, it changes to off again. Then on again. And then when the next pulse comes in, off again. 
So that's fantastic. These pulses could be from anything at all. Here I've got a little circuit that just generates continuous pulses. But you could put anything you wanted there. You could put a pressure plate to count in binary how many people walk through a corridor. Or you could put a daylight sensor to count how many days have passed in your Minecraft world. Anyway, so that's what we've got. This is just a single binary digit now. What I need to do next to have a full-on binary counter is make some copies of this and join them end to end. I could just build them again with, uh, with the components I've got. What I'm going to do instead is use the clone command. I've measured carefully the, the coordinates of the two corners of this and so I can just say clone clone from 0, 3, 0 to 9, 6, 7 and make the copy of these make the copy of these blocks at 0, 3, 8. That will be just beyond the end of the first one. And there we go. Now we've got two of these. And you should see they will be counting perfectly fine in binary. That's on. The next the second one will be on and the first one off. And then they'll both be on. That's fantastic. And then they'll both go off. And what I'll do, I'll get another clone command ready to add some more bits of data to this. So clone from 0, 3, 0 again, the same starting point. But this time I want to clone both of these components at once. And now I'll have four binary digits, four bits of data all in a row, and the thing will be counting in binary. So the number 1 in binary, 0001, then the number 2, 0010. Ready? There we go. And the number 3, 0011. And the number 4, 0100. Let's switch off the rain. It would be great if you could just switch off the rain in real life, but hey, we can in Minecraft at least. Alright. Go. And now that's the number 5 in binary, then the number 6 is 0110, and, and so on. It will be counting. Um, I could use more clone commands to make this stretch off into the distance there as long as I wanted. Um, but I won't do that now. Um, that's basically how you make a binary counter in Minecraft. The core is this circuit, which incidentally this is called a flip-flop. Um, just like that green slime is flip-flopping all over it. So the key elements of it, first of all, there's a little loop at the, at the top that makes sure the input has a perfectly timed duration. And then on one side, connecting the output and the input together, negating both, and the negation of the output becomes the actual binary digit that we that we display but then these get merged and sent through another negation and then loop back to the output and on the other side instead of not gates instead of these redstone torches that ne that flip the signal from positive to negative uh, I just use repeaters to keep the signal what it is but I still merge them with a redstone torch and then back to the output that's the structure of a flip-flop. You join enough of them together, as many as you want, and you've got a binary counter. Thanks so much for watching. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and switch on notifications. Thanks very, very much.